This is Matthew Cratter's Bitcoin University. Today I want to talk about how to check if your Bitcoin is real because there's a chance that you actually don't have any Bitcoin even though you think that you might have some. I don't want to get into any trouble here so I'm going to invent a completely imaginary company that allows you to purchase Bitcoin and hold it on a hardware wallet. Of course a hardware wallet is another way of saying cold storage. It's really the best practice for storing your Bitcoin, technically your Bitcoin private keys, and keeping them safe for the long term. So this is the right way to do things. But in this case, we're going to be using an imaginary company. I'm going to call this completely made up company that doesn't exist, that does not exist in the real world. I'm going to call it Sledger. So you open up an account with, with Sledger, you send in some US dollars, and you use it to buy 6.15 Bitcoin. Then you buy a Sledger hardware wallet from the same company, you initialize it and connect it to the Sledger Live app on your laptop or your phone. And then you generate a fresh Bitcoin address from your Sledger hardware wallet via the Sledger Live app. This is how it often works. And you move your 6.15 Bitcoin to that fresh Bitcoin address. Voila, you're now a self-sovereign Bitcoiner with 6.15 Bitcoin who holds his own private keys and thus cannot be rugged by any exchange. Or are you is the question, how do you know that you're holding actual real Bitcoin? The real answer is you can't know for sure. You might not be holding any real Bitcoin, or you might be holding 6.15 Bitcoin that have already been spent and thus can never be spent again, which would be a terrible thing. I could imagine a scammer setting up a company like Sledger, accepting your incoming US dollars, and then pocketing it instead of using it to buy the Bitcoin for you. Now, how could they get away with this? It's really quite easy, actually. You would just program the Sledger Live app and the Sledger hardware wallet to tell you that, or to tell the customer that he or she has 6.15 Bitcoin, when in fact Sledger, the parent company, has stolen the money and you in fact own zero Bitcoin. Many customers will keep their Bitcoin on a Sledger hardware wallet and not move it for years and years. So all you would really need to do as a scammer is to come up with some real Bitcoin for those customers who actually want to send their Bitcoin to another Bitcoin address that's outside the Sledger, Sledger ecosystem. For everyone else, you can keep pocketing their incoming US dollars and tell them that you're buying Bitcoin with it when in fact you're not. How can you make sure that you're never the victim of a scam like this? Number one, buy your Bitcoin from one company, whether it's Bull Bitcoin or Strike or River or one of the other fine companies out there. Number two, you then buy your hardware wallet from a different company, Cold Card, Blockstream, Jade are my two favorites. I'm not being paid by either of them or any of these companies I mentioned to recommend them. Number three, instead of using software issued by your hardware wallet maker, in this, in this case, the Sledger Live app, you can use FOSS software, free and open source software with lots of eyeballs on it, like the Sparrow Wallet. Then you can connect your Sparrow Wallet to your own Bitcoin Knots node in order to verify that your Bitcoin is real and has not already been spent. And this is the self-sovereign, this is the real way to do it. You actually run the software and you verify for yourself that your Bitcoin is real, that it's actually sitting at those addresses. And you do that using your Bitcoin Knots node connected through Sparrow to your hardware wallet. And in this case, you can be sure because you verified it for yourself and you're also using these components from different companies, you can be sure that you actually own Bitcoin. Here's how to download Bitcoin Knots for your laptop and then connect Sparrow Wallet to it. I'll put a link to this in the description notes below, as well as this video, which will teach you how to configure Bitcoin Knots the best way. An even better solution than putting Bitcoin Knots or other node software on your laptop or desktop is to run something like a personal server, like a Start9 personal server, which you basically just plug into the wall, you plug into power, as well as your home router. And this allows you this software with its free and open source uh, operating system, which is called, called Start OS. This allows you to run many different Bitcoin apps, which are really cool, including Bitcoin Knots, Datum Gateway, which you can use for mining, Mempool, the version, your own instance of mempool.space, and then some lightning apps like LND or Core Lightning, RoboSats, etc. This is all available available on the Start9 server. And then you can you can either buy this or build this personal server. And this would be one solution where you buy a server directly from them. I have the server one, which I bought a few years ago. I wish I'd gotten the server pure. I'm not sure it was available at the time. And then you can either so you can either buy one of these personal servers or you can build one yourself using a mini PC. And I'll put a link to this video by Bitcoin Not Crypto in the description notes below, which will teach you basically how to set up a mini PC and then flash it with the start, uh, the start operating system, start 
OS. I also put a link to BTC Sessions, excellent video here about running Bitcoin Knots on desktop, Umbral, and Start9. This problem of not knowing whether or not your Bitcoin is real is why running a Bitcoin node is such an absolute necessity today for Bitcoiners and not just some aspirational dream that you might do in five years from now when you finally have the time. What happens if you wait five years only to discover that you actually own zero Bitcoin and now Bitcoin is trading at one and a half, two million dollars per, co per coin? That would be even worse, an even worse thing than having never bought any Bitcoin to begin with. There are other good reasons as well to run a Bitcoin node, as well as this reason we've been talking about today, which is to verify that you actually own Bitcoin and that it's sitting at addresses that you control and that it has not been spent. But there are other good reasons to run a Bitcoin not node. Number one, privacy. If you use someone else's node, they can see all of your Bitcoin transactions and as well as your IP address often unless you're using Tor and your IP address can be linked to your physical location. Number two reason to run a Bitcoin node is in the case of forks. If there's ever a soft fork or a hard fork in Bitcoin, you will then be able to decide personally which software you want to run. Do you really want to let Coinbase or Trezor decide this for you? Probably not, especially in a contentious fork environment where you'll want to take control of your node, your software, as well as your coins. Number three, running your own node that filters spam helps to make the net Bitcoin network healthier. It helps you not relay spam, and then there's a less chance of the spam making its way to a miner. Number four, by running your own full node, you're helping to provide a backup of Bitcoin's history, including all transactions going back to 2009. This information can then be shared with new nodes to help bootstrap them, thus helping the Bitcoin network to grow and become more robust. So running a Bitcoin node is not just good for you, but it also makes you a full citizen, so to speak, of the Bitcoin network. Since there have been a lot of new viewers and subscribers coming to this channel lately, I wanted to make sure that newcomers are aware of the additional resources that I offer over at Bitcoin University Premium, which includes the paid course, The Ultimate Guide to Bitcoin. I have a Bitcoin forum over there where we have very interesting discussions. And you can pay for all this. You can actually sign up using Bitcoin if you want or using fiat. I also have these live classes that I do over Zoom once a month and I record them. And so I have the back catalog of all these live classes that includes how to buy non-KYC anonymous Bitcoin, UTXO consolidation, uh, single SIG, multi SIG, all these different, all these different things. My most recent class was about the Lightning Network, how to set up your own Lightning node using Core Lightning, LND, as well as using the Zeus and Phoenix wallets. I'm going to be doing another one of these live Zoom classes this Saturday, just in a couple of days from now, this Saturday, June 28th at 11 o'clock, uh, 11 a.m. Uh, Mountain Standard Time. Topics to be decided. But if you'd like to join this live class as well, get, as well as get access to that paid course, the forum, recordings of previous live classes and everything else that's available over at bitcoinuniversity.com. I'll put a link in the pinned comment as well as the description notes below in this video so you can join if you want to. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the subscribe and like buttons. Hit the notification bell if you want to be notified when I publish my next video. And let me know your questions and comments in the comment section below. Thanks all for watching and I'll see you in the next video.